good morning. Today you join me on the road into Betty Coed. Today's uh, another free day that I've got. So uh, yeah, I've got to head into North Wales and uh, see what sort of shots I can get. The weather conditions are absolutely fantastic. Lovely blue skies. Bit of a chilly start this morning. Had to defrost the, uh, the old car. Um, but yeah, come and join me. We'll uh, see what images we can get for today. Wow, what a morning. So I'm just heading down to uh, the Ferry Glen now, see what this is all about. Um, I'm expecting big things from here. Um, so hopefully it'll be, uh, hopefully make for some quite good images. It's not a bad little uh, little place to, uh, to get to. It's just slightly off uh, one of the roads. You kind of think you're going to a bed and breakfast, but um, yeah, you know, there is a car park. I think it's a bit of privately owned land. So we're just going to head down the path now, I can hear the water just in the distance, in fact I can see the river just ahead of me, it looks to be quite fast flowing, which uh, yeah, should make for some good images, we'll uh, see what we can get and I'll, uh, I'll post back once, uh, once I get down to the location. Right, see you in a little bit. Yeah, already I'm, uh, I'm very impressed. It's a uh, beautiful little walk down here. Like most locations are beautiful. It's uh, treacherous, the, uh, the area, certainly on these rocks. Got loads of wet leaves, um, mossy conditions. And then if you fall, it's straight into the water. It's, uh, yeah, chilling conditions. So, um, yeah, plenty of opportunities to break an arm or a leg here. So, uh, if you do get here, be careful. Another thing to be mindful of as well, there are a number of photographers. It's obviously quite a bit of a beauty location. Um, you've got the, the normal shot, which is just on the other side of there, which is the waterfall that comes down. But then, if you just come over the other side of the rocks, you've got a, an S, well, a bend in the, in the water. And just where I've got it now, I've got uh, rays of light coming through the trees as well, which looks really, really nice. It certainly does on the back of the camera anyway. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what these come out like. And uh, yeah, if they're any good, I'll, uh, I'll show them now. So yeah, there we go. I don't think I'm going to stay much longer in this location. Um, there's just a, it's on the bend of the river, there's the sort of right hand side and then looking straight on. There's not much more to be had here. Um, I suppose it's a great place to come, sort of see the, the different uh, lighting conditions certainly throughout the day. Um, so yeah, if you are thinking of coming here, it may be worth spending a little bit of time here, but uh, 
yeah, for me, I want to be heading off back into Betsy Coed, so that's where I'm going to head now and uh, see what else I can get for the, uh, for the rest of the day. But yeah, so far, really impressed this location. It's only one to, uh, one to come back to, I think. Although it's rather chilly, it's absolutely gorgeous out today. The air is so fresh, so lovely. Um, in a bit of a dilemma now of what to do. Now, I've got a couple of options. I could do my original walk, which is in Betty Code, which is just two miles down the road. Or I could go and try and get a sunset. Now, Betty Coed, it's, uh, it's a great little location, but uh, I think the sunset's gonna be quite impressive tonight. So I could head off to the Ogwin Valley. That's just down the road as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, no real dilemma. It's currently about quarter past two, so uh, sunset in the next two hours. So I need to move my mind up quite quickly and, uh, and head off there. Um, I might just stick to Betsy Coed. It's normally a safe bet. So the verdict's in, and I've come to Betsy Coed. Um, probably not going to get the best light here. It's a little bit shaded um, with the mountains in the background, etc. But there's a great walk that I did on a previous vlog, which I'm going to try and finish a little bit more of um, and do a few more shots further, further back. But just whilst I'm here, I'm just going to take a few shots from the bridge here, which is the, uh, the main place to go, really. What's really nice at the moment is the, uh, all the stones really wet with the spray. There's a lot of mist coming off the water as well. It's quite, uh, quite heavy. And obviously with the leaves uh, incorporated, it incorporated in that as well, it, uh, it makes for like quite a bit of a silky smooth image. So yeah, I've done a couple of images of that, um, just with the leading lines of the rocks going into the water with the waterfalls in the background. Um, not a lot of color in it. Um, yeah, there's, there's no real light in the sky, but uh, yeah, one of an interesting image and it's dead simple as well. Photography around here is really simple. You just got to know what, uh, what your leading lines are and it pretty much does the rest for you. Been here a number of times now I've vlogged from here previously um, so I do know the area quite well but every time I come I'm always sort of astounded actually of how much more I could probably do the last vlog I did was in Slovenia and that was uh, such a challenge my gosh never known any uh, any weather like that for uh, for getting you down it got me down as a photographer and on the way back I was thinking to myself have I tried enough have I done as much as I could and hand on heart, the level of photography I'm at at the moment, I think I did. Um, I wasn't unimpressed with the images I was getting. Um, with the weather conditions the way they were, I wanted to try and keep them as natural looking as possible. So I didn't put a lot of colour into the sky because it just wasn't there. Um, but yeah, since I've put the vlog out, since I've reviewed the images again, yeah, I'm quite, uh, quite happy with what I've got. And I think as photographers, a lot of the time we... Uh, push ourselves that much and we're always after that perfect sunrise and sunset do we actually learn anything if the conditions played our way all the time probably not I think sometimes experiences like that are good to uh, good to take and uh, yeah I think they, uh, they're beneficial because they make you, you push on and uh, want to get uh, better as a photographer so uh, yeah if ever you're uh, anywhere and the weather conditions just aren't playing game just uh, Push on, keep on pushing on is probably what I'd say. I was concerned on the way here that uh, we're coming to the end of, no, uh, end of, well, end of November really, but the end of autumn as well. And I was uh, a little bit worried that there'd be no colour in the trees. But have you seen the colour behind me? Just look at that. You don't even need to play pretend cause 
you find the way you are. I want to know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. I could stay forever. Well, that's appeared on a previous vlog. It's quite funny actually uh, visiting places when you've been on a uh, when you've done a vlog from there. Um, yeah, it, <laughs> it's only when you've got it on video and it's out on YouTube. It does feel a little bit uh, a little bit strange revisiting. But yeah, so I'm hoping you're liking the images so far. I'm really uh, just chasing the light now. It started to go a little bit dark. There's a little bit of hope in the sky. But uh, yeah, certainly ground level in this valley, it's uh, starting to get a little bit darker than I, I'd like it to. Um, problem with November, very little amount of light. I mean, some, sometimes that's a positive. Certainly you haven't got to uh, stay out till sort of nine, 10 o'clock to get the sunsets. But you are on a, when you're a bit of a, a time schedule like I am, it's difficult to get out early and have a full day's uh, photography. Certainly when you think it's uh, coming up to about quarter past three now, um, yeah, and the, the light's starting to disappear already. So yeah, it's a bit of a race against time, but there's a, a waterfall, I remember, further on, which I'm going to try and head there now uh, and see what I can get from there. So that might be my next location, providing I don't stop off and take any more shots. Right, wish me luck. Onwards and upwards. See you in a bit. So I think I've come to the end of this uh, vlog. I'm going to take a couple more images now on the river, just uh, so let's see if we can get anything from the sky. But it looks as if it's going a little bit uh, flat, the light, with this mist coming in as well. So I'm going to see, stick around, see what I can get. But uh, from the vlog, I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, plenty more to come. I'm not sure where the next location is going to be, um, but I'm going to work out somewhere for next week. Um, but thank you as always for watching. Genuine, genuine thank you. Thank you for keeping with the channel. Thank you for your subscriptions already. If you haven't done so already, please, so, uh, please consider cons subscribing. That's it for me to say. But yeah, um, give us your thumbs up and uh, yeah, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you again for watching and uh, take care. Bye bye now. <laughs>